My name is Joshua Scallon. I work at the University of Missouri in the Medical Pharmacology and Physiology Department, and I study lymphatic endothelial permeability, which is basically how solute and fluid uh, is transported across the lymphatic vessel wall from the lumen into the tissue. In layman's terms, that would be uh, the ease with which molecules such as proteins and lipids uh, as well as water are able to cross the lymphatic vessel wall from the lumen into the tissue. One of the things that lymphatic vessels are recognized for doing is absorbing dietary lipids from the intestine and uh, un until recently it was unappreciated that collecting lymphatic vessels leaked protein and fluid into the into the tissue and so one of the things that I think will that impacts uh, impacts us on a day-to-day -day basis is that they're constantly absorbing lipid from the intestine and I think current research is, sh is showing now that a portion of that lipid is being uh, leaked out constantly into the surrounding tissue and under normal conditions this is okay and results in a little bit of adipose deposition around lymphatic vessels but under pathological conditions where this leakage becomes enhanced then uh, that would obviously cause increased lipid leakage and could cause conditions such as obesity or could exacerbate inflammation. Everyone previously believed that only 10% of the interstitial fluid volume was uh, transported by the lymphatic vasculature back into the bloodstream. However, this has been shown uh, by several groups in the past 20 years not to be the case. This has stemmed from the textbook view that the blood vasculature leaks out fluid constantly in the interstitium and that the venous side of the vasculature is capable of reabsorbing 90% of this volume. But several groups have shown that the, the venous side of the vasculature is incapable of uh, constantly reabsorbing this fluid, and so that leaves the lymphatic ves vessels as the primary route for interstitial fluid absorption. In many diseases, uh, the lymphatic transport is compromised, or is, is believed to be compromised. Uh, it's still not known, but uh, I think when, uh, when lymphatic vessel, when lymph flow becomes occluded, uh, recent evidence is showing that when, when lymph flow is obstructed or, or occluded, that this leads to an impairment in interstitial fluid drainage, and interstitial fluid is believed to also be carrying lipid from the tissue. And so when it becomes blocked, uh, lipid would naturally build up in the tissue and then possibly promote adipose tissue deposition, otherwise known as fat.